Okay, so I'm back in the garage. I got everything done yesterday on this side, so that's ready. Uh, but I need to do the other side today. Uh, it took a bit time um, uh, because it was the first time doing it, and yeah, so learning by doing. Um, and uh, so I think this side is going to go much faster. I'm just gonna put out the cameras and, and start on it, and hopefully, in half an hour, it's done. So uh, Let's see how much time I'm going to use on this side. Okay, it's basically we need one of everything, so we got we got new brake shoes, new discs, uh, let's see, we got new clips with pins, uh, we got new springs, and we got one lever with spring, and we got one tension, not sure what, the, what it's called, but it's uh, this is what you tension, uh, pre-tension the, the brake shoes with. Yeah. And we need one bolt for the, the discs. Yeah, so I think that's all. So the first thing we need to do is to get the spring on, um, on the cable. And this is going this way and yesterday the spring is going over here and hooking up like so you can see here is hooking up here makes it flush here I think I took it a bit further on the other side, but that's it's gonna be good. So that's where it's hooking up. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so this is going that way, so we need to put this on this way. There's enough to put on one or two rings on the on the edge here. Come on. Can you twist it on or something? Let's turn it. Yeah. Okay, the easiest way is just to turn it. Uh, make sure that this is the correct way then. This is going that way, this is going underneath here. Yeah. <coughs> so with the spring on, we can put on the... Uh, I think it's called the secondary shoe. So we're gonna put the cable through, and then hook up the spring. So, this is probably seated, so that's done. See, it's kind of the spring is kind of loose. I guess it's going to be like so. Okay, um, then. Uh, this is going underneath, so we need to hook up This is going this way, like so And then we need to hook up the spring, and the spring is going to be It's going to be on this side here We have this spring I'm gonna sit like this. Uh, and this is kind of the tricky part. Getting this over the other other edge. Uh, let's 
To uh, hook this up first, that's what we need to do. Let's see. Where is the hole? Is there? Okay. So we need to put the pin through um, the back plate and also through the the shoe. Yep. Put the pin through on the back side through the shoe here. And then we are going to uh, put on the spring that's uh, holding it all in place. And I'm going to put on my gloves so I don't hurt my fingers again. side they are going to point downwards they're gonna put this on like that Same as the other, it's gonna sit on underneath there and on top of this uh, spacer. I think this is gonna be a, a tricky side to do this on because it's all underneath. up the spring uh, it's not gonna go it's gonna and then hook up the spring on the other shoe a bit tricky to get in the to get the spring in but this uh kind of roll it in like so now comes the really tricky part getting it over getting the everything to align because the tension on this spring is just insane so there's probably a smart way to do this and there's uh, the brute force way so To get that the line. See, you got the spring on, and then you have the the plate that goes on the other side. That needs to align here. 
Now you can see why we have the, the cable tie to get it over there. Ah, uh, try again. That's it. The really difficult part is to get the pin through the whole thing. Get this through the back plate, through the and we need to put on the Clip that holds it all in place. <sighs> okay, let's try and get this on. <laughs> it's hard to do with the only two hands, so uh, if you have a new, almost. <laughs> if you have a buddy, you can call. That's it. So uh, this tool definitely helpful. That's in. That's in. That's in. Then it's uh, it's just one spring up here, and we are done. We need some pliers for this. Like so, that's in. Okay, so let's see how this is sitting. Okay, so with the uh, shoes in place and all the small bits and pieces, I'm just gonna align everything as in center as possible to make it easier to put on the, the disc. So they come with a coating layer so they won't rust. So uh, just use a brake cleaner and wash that off. Okay, just uh, the hub knocking. Okay, so that's we need a bolt first of all. So you have the disc retaining screw. A little bit of block right on that, not too much. And uh, I usually just put a tiny bit of uh, copper. Uh, 
that. And this, um, thirty-five newton meters. It's a, a T fifty, I think. Yeah, T fifty, T fifty torque. And uh, yeah, and it's thirty-five newton. Now with the disc in place, we can start um, with uh, tightening the pretensioner, pretensioner, or I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, but the screw, but it's up there, it's in some top. You can see the shiny part in there, yeah, that's the, what we're gonna turn. So we're gonna tighten this all the way until we uh, hit 60 newton meters. By turning the, uh, the, um, the wheel we are pushing the pads or the shoes outwards against the disc. And now we are measuring with the torque wrench. until we get around 60 newtons. Okay, so that's around 60. Let's see where is it? We want to release. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Now it should be turning freely. And that is done, we need to find the, the hex screw. Release that. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. So this is the second one area and it should be down here somewhere. Spring, there it is. You can see that hex screw, you're gonna turn that uh, half a turn this, and then bang on the, on the disc. This will release the pads uh, on this side. So we have expanded the pads up here with the, the screw. Uh, down, now we're gonna release the, um, this screw and then it's gonna just push out uh, and picking up the slack with the with the spring that's mounted here. So, oops, let's try that. Let's release it. So you can hear it. Hear it uh, the spring is releasing the tension. Don't turn it. You need to bang on the on the disc. Something. Where did my knife go? I don't have a rubber uh, mallet, so I need to, need to get that. Up. I think that's enough. We're gonna tighten up this again, and it's gonna be uh, only six newtons. So be careful. Like so. With everything in place, we can put in the plastic uh, cover. So we want to have this plastic cover so it don't get. Uh, dirt and or minimize the dirt that can get into the into the, the drum yes
All done. Well, let's give it a quick clean.